recovery also brings the resurgence of another housing related phenomenon one that got many banks and homeowners into trouble during the housing boom craig morrow explains at the peak of the housing crisis americans owed more than one trillion dollars in loans or lines of credit tied to the value of their homes so-called home equity financing effectively uses a person's house as collateral such lending dried up after the housing crash when homes lost about a third of their value nationwide. Now, as the housing sector shows signs of recovery, home equity lending is apparently back. Data from Equifax show the number of home equity loans increased 19 percent in the fourth quarter year over year. One lender, J.P. Morgan Chase, reported a 35 percent rise in home equity lines of credit in the same quarter. As home values have come up, in my experience in Chicago here, People are now feeling comfortable again that they can secure that home equity loan, pull some cash out, and possibly renovate and upgrade their kitchen or upgrade a bathroom or put a new addition on. During the boom, consumers used home equity money for luxury purchases like yachts or second homes. But anecdotal evidence suggests people are now using such loans more traditionally for things like home repairs and renovations. I think the reason it's happening is that people are dying to spend in this country. They spent several years holding it back and now are feeling just a little more confident about the future of the economy and want to get out and spend. We're a consumer economy. Home equity could continue to grow if home prices keep rising. Those increased 8% last year, according to industry tracker CoreLogic. If that continues, more and more people could also emerge from being underwater on their mortgages. That is, their homes would gain value and become worth more than the loans that paid for them, thus opening up more equity to tap. Craig Morrow, CCTV, Chicago.